Happy Friday! Just a reminder, if you guys want to make an intro for Fan Friday, just make a little intro telling us who you are and say, It's Fan Friday! Leave it as a video response to this video and we just might use your intro. Right, Shai? Now, on to some questions! Craig wants to know, how can you teach your dogs to stop digging up your plants in the backyard? Well, I'll show you this hole over here. And when you figure it out, please be sure to let me know, because these are what we call husky holes. She used to have a hole over there, and then she had a hole back there, and now she's decided that the middle of the yard is the place to be. Um, there are a few different things you can do if you bury their own poop in those holes, which makes it for a real nice place to put that stuff. They usually won't dig there again. That's what we usually do. I just haven't done it lately. <laughs> so Oakley has a new hole. What are you doing? Oh. There's bread in there for the squirrels. You're eating crumbs, aren't you? Bad dog eating crumbs. Dirk wants to know, have your dogs ever woken you up with cold noses and lots of licks? Yes. Oakley is notorious for that. She'll jump up on the side of the bed just to lick us and wake us up. Not sure if I'm saying this name right. Vaney? Van? Wants to know, what are some of the dog's favorite treats? Well, Shiloh here likes salmon treats. Any type of fish treat she goes crazy for. These two crazy girls, that one and this one, will eat just about anything when it comes to treats. Jonathan wants to know, have you ever thought about getting another husky, a fourth playmate for the girls? Um, no. Does it look like they need a fourth playmate? Those two play pretty good together and she's not that big on playing anyway, so I don't think we need a fourth one. If we had a fourth one, I'd have no place to sleep at night. Go, 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 go! Sarah wants to know. Sarah wants to know, I live in Montana and it gets really cold and windy here. My question is, should I be brushing my husky in the wintertime, as well as other seasons? I worry about brushing him in the wintertime because he may get cold. Is it okay to not brush him in the wintertime? Um, you still want to brush them even in the winter time. They're, the reason they're blowing that undercoat is because they're growing in a new coat for the winter. These dogs are designed to live in cold temperatures. They, I promise you they're not going to get cold even if you brush out that undercoat. It should actually help keep them warmer because then their new undercoat will grow in to give them that extra insulation they'll need for the winter. Ling says, I have noticed that Shiloh is less interested in playing with Shelby and Oakley as she just sits and watches. How come? I mean, kind of like she's doing right now, why those two are running around like crazy. She's just standing here watching. Shiloh's 11 years old. She's not really big into playing. But, you know, she never really was big into playing. Have you? You're never really big into playing. She's just a calm, good girl. I don't know why she's never been very playful. She's just happy to be with us. Laura says, how do you deal with ticks and fleas with a husky? What is the best thing to use on them since they have double coats? You don't have fleas, do you, Shelby? You got an itchy ear? <laughs> um, currently, we use K9 Advantex 2 on our dogs. Uh, we're probably going to be switching to, I believe it's called Vectra. Uh, the K9 Advantix is the topical, and now they have the ones that are a pill form. Uh, I need to look a little bit more into it before I make a decision, but there's a lot out there. It's something you may want to talk to your vet about. They could probably give you the best answer on what's the best to use, but right now we use Canine Advantix 2. We've been using it for years now, and it's always worked really well for us for both fleas and ticks. A lot of you have asked me in the past week or so about that you have a husky and that they don't know how to talk or howl or bark yet, and why, or what can you do to get them to do that. Shiloh was never a big talker when we first got her. It took a lot to get her to actually howl. She talked, but she never really howled. Um, she didn't actually learn how to do it until Shelby did it. So you could try showing them, you know, some of the videos we have of our dogs howling or of other dogs howling and see if that works. Um, sometimes harmonicas can set them off. I know with Shelby, she, if you just barely blow into a harmonica, she pretty much goes off. You don't have to go crazy with it, just a little tiny bit and see if that works. Um, but some huskies just aren't as vocal as others and you may just have a quiet husky, which in a way you may want to be thankful for because when they get going, especially when there's three of them, they get really loud. Lincoln has a question for Jamie and I. It says, how do you find all the time to do these amazing things? I think that you know, I don't really know how we find the time. We kind of just make the time. We like to experience life. We like to have a lot of fun. We like to do fun things. And we kind of just make time for it. We don't sit around and wait for fun to come up, come to us. 
we go out and find it. We like to take the dogs on adventures. We like to go on adventures on our own. And I hope that you guys can see how that's portrayed on this channel and on our vlog channel without the snow dogs. We have a lot of fun over there too. In the mail today, we got a couple of late birthday gifts for Shiloh. This one is from Mike. It says, happy birthday, Shiloh. What's in there, Shy? What's in there? She, I swear, she just loves opening packages. Hold on, let me help you get it out. Look, we got squeaky toys for all the girls. I knew you were gonna take it. Squeaky toys for all the girls. Oh, look at that, even Oakley took it. Shiloh just wants the package. You want a squeaky toy? Want a squeaky toy? And look what else. Shiloh wants these. Peanut butter treats, all right. Yeah, they like peanut butter treats a lot. Can you say thank you? Shiloh says thank you for the birthday gift. She's gonna rip that bag open if I let her. And we got another birthday gift for Shiloh from Charmaine. And Shiloh wants us to pass along hugs for all the girls. So all the girls will get hugs from Charmaine. Let's see what we got. Look, this one is for Shiloh. Here, Shy. I know, you just want to tear the package. I know, you just want to tear the package. We got some treats for you. All right. Oakley, this one's for you. Oh, that oh, that was such a good girl. Come here, Shelby. You get one too. You get one too. There you go. Oak, Oakley actually took hers into her kennel to hide it. Here, Shy. You get a stuffed animal too. You get one too. Thanks for sending those. We also got this really cute birthday card and drawing from Audrey for Shiloh. Another happy birthday gift for you, Shiloh. Thanks for sending that to us, Audrey. We also got these drawings of Shelby and Shiloh and Oakley from Kimmy. And Kimmy wrote, from Kimmy, the nine-year-old girl that is almost ten. Those are pretty good drawings for a nine-year-old, almost ten-year-old girl. Thanks for sending those to us. What? You're just happy you got a toy. I know, that's all you ever care about. You like stuffed toys, huh? Shelby, Shelby, Shelby.